We got some back and biceps today and outside we got Cloud City. Check this out. Craziness. Look at that. A giant cloud has descended. It's only like four o'clock, so it's not the sun is still up somewhere, like somewhere way over there. Alright, enough of that. Time to check the weight. Food decent today. So we'll see if we can repeat what we got last time. That was that was pretty solid. Let me zero it out here. Flip you around so you can see. And then halfway through today's workout, if I remember, I will check the weight um, with. Nice. All right. We're holding steady around that 207, 208. Um, I'll check the weight with no shoes, no sweatshirt. Nice. Cool. Solid. Yeah, so I'll do that halfway through the workout, as long as I remember. Let me show you the uh, workout plan now, though. All right, day 131, got the body weight there. Farmer carries, the goal is 275 per hand, hopefully down and pause and then back. Two sets on the chin-ups and then some double rows. The idea with the double rows, you know, a little more lower back intensive, but I'll have tomorrow, Thursday, to recover before uh, deadlifts, as opposed to doing them on Saturday. I only have 24 hours, basically, to recover before squats, so... Hopefully it works out better this way, and then we'll finish with some uh, seated curls. All right, let's go for it. All right, farmer carries complete. Those are more just a battle of like will. Like you can do it. You just got to stay in it, you know, keep breathing. And uh, yeah, obviously the, there's a grip component, but I find it's more just not, you know, stay out, stay out of your head. Just, just stay on task with those. Um, I think that's one of those things where if you had just an unending difference, an un unending distance and somebody was going next to you, you might just be able to keep going a lot, a lot farther than you thought you could just having that other person next to you, you know, pushing onward. So they're a good exercise. I'm a fan. Hopefully we'll be closing in on 300 per hand eventually. So these 110, we're going to try and get six or more, but we'll see. See how it feels. Took the sweatshirt off, so that should help. All right, I know seven wasn't even halfway, but six felt moderately okay, and I just kind of wanted to start working towards seven or eight reps. So pull-ups are one of those exercises for myself, at least I feel like I can do a rep. Um, it's, it's different than bench press. If I do a rep and fail on bench, um, 
you know, or squat. There's a little more that goes into, all right, now I got to reset the weight. I got to fix everything. This, if I don't go all the way up on the rep, no big deal. Just set it back down. So, um, also minimal risk for injury in my opinion with, you know, a partial rep on the pull-ups, chin-ups. All right. A little rest. Next set. All right, just a 90, so we, we dropped 20 pounds, and hopefully eight, or maybe a bonus one. Who knows? set a little different but it'll be a little more time efficient so I'm gonna do these hope to get like eight plus and then drop right to the 52s and get another 10 and just burn the back out and that way I'll still have time for a set or two of curls so I want to get those 60s on the curls again I don't want to I want to skip on those all right put that in the frame per usual As promised, the check-in with just a t-shirt and no shoes. Yep, about two-ish pounds different, as expected. So I know um, a couple people have asked about that, like why I weigh in the way I do, and it's really just sustainability. That's the most important thing with sticking to routines. Um, if I had the scale inside and I made it like a, a separate part of the day, more than likely I wouldn't end up checking every day. And my main goal is just to check the weight every day. 
um, you know, at roughly the same time with the same parameters. As I said, I'm not as interested in specifically what the number is. I'm more interested in seeing that the number is going up. So this is what I've found that works for me. Same with the workout routines that are 45 minutes to an hour long. That's what works for me. Um, and as I said before, as a natural bodybuilder, I think there's also benefits to the, the time frame of the workout, but that's, that's getting off the, uh, the subject there. Hopefully that makes sense with the weight. Um, feel free to, you know, ask any questions about that. <clears throat> All right. Sixties here. I am hoping for more than five because I've done five previously. So we'll just see what happens. I think if I stay focused, I can probably get six, keeping the form decent. Rest it a little bit, post the uh, row drop set. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. Anything's easier than farmer carries, right? No, I'm just kidding. Those aren't that bad. No, I'm not going for seven because I felt like on six, my back kind of did that. So still a moderately decent rep, but not optimal. So now we're going to drop 42s. <sighs> Hopefully get eight to 10. Go feet over the top here. <sighs> Toasty. couple seconds here Maybe like 10 or 15 and then we'll go for it nice guesses by the way with the uh, Stallone pec tear question I was surprised too I mean he's he was in great shape but I didn't think 400 pounds I mean granted it sounds like he failed attempting it but still that probably means he did 380 or something like that right before so Super impressive. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about in the last video, I was just asking anybody watching if they knew a little 80s trivia there, what weight Sylvester Stallone tore his pec trying to bench press, and it was 400 pounds, which I'm just saying I, I'm, I'm impressed with that for his size, body weight. I mean, anyone bench pressing 400 pounds is impressive. But I think he was somewhere 180, 190. For today hope i didn't just push that in the frame um appreciate the support as always tomorrow we've got the time it works out hopefully log press i do not want to skip that again because take two weeks off something and it's like you're starting over so let's get the log press done tomorrow dumbbell presses obviously and the traditional traditional shoulder stuff nothing nothing crazy hopefully a good weight but that remains to be seen just keep piling in the calories um, yeah, that was a good, that was a solid one today. Um, 
anybody into strongman happen to know what type of like what's a standard weight for a farmer carry um like a like a competition i know that like for heavyweights it's usually right around 330 per hand but just because i've been kind of steadily adding weight so i'm just kind of curious what kind of weight range you really need to be in to do a uh, strongman contest um, if you follow the channel you know obviously i'm also working on a log press deadlift so that's maybe somewhere down the line something that uh I could be interested in doing, um, but I just felt like I should, if I'm going to give it a try, I should actually work at it for a while and kind of build up a little bit, make sure I give myself a decent shot at doing moderately well, you know, work on some of the big movements. Can't work on the uh, stone lifts, unfortunately, I don't have a stone, but my parents um, got me the log, actually. A while back which i was very appreciative of um because that is one of those lifts that you can't rep i mean you could do shoulder press obviously but the log is completely different i mean it's neutral grip for one so that's different it's huge so it's sitting on your chest while you're doing it and you've got to deadlift it up into position lots of lots of different elements so yeah that's that's it that's the uh the sum total of why i'm working on some of those strongman movements other than just the fact that I feel like they're good for building muscle and just adding size, having some very, having some variation to the routine um, from the traditional movements, and I just like doing the, uh, I like doing the farmer carries. It's a good test of uh, test of will, as I mentioned before. All right, that's it for today. I don't want, I don't want the video to run too long. Uh, appreciate the support. Like I said before, any questions, comments, concerns, uh, post them below and I will get back to you and enjoy the rest of the night and we'll see you tomorrow for sure. All right. Peace.